Hi everyone, I am Jared Ross, a genie vlogger, and it's a quick genealogy tip. On today's quick genealogy tip, I will be discussing the individual match filter on DNA Painter. One of the things that I've discussed at length in many of my videos is that the 7 centimorgan threshold is considered an industry standard in genetic genealogy. But unfortunately, many of the genetic testing companies will include genetic matches that have segments that are less than 7 centimorgans. On 23andMe, you may find matches where it includes segments as small as 5 centimorgans. On MyHeritage, you may find matches that have segments that are as small as 6 centimorgans. And on Family Tree DNA, you can find segments as small as 1 centimorgan. That is where the individual match filter comes in. What the individual match filter does is it takes your genetic matches and it filters out all of these segments which are smaller than 7 centimorgans. Or you can actually set it to be more than 7 centimorgans or less. So you could do 8, 9, 10, or even 20 centimorgans if you wanted to. Now this is extremely helpful when you are talking about endogamous populations especially because when you have endogamous populations, you get a lot of these really small segments. So when you're using a database like Family Tree DNA, you may find matches that have well over 100 shared centimorgans, but then when you filter them at just 7 centimorgans, you find that it'll actually drop down to 30 or less. And it's just like if you're painting a match on DNA Painter. You just copy, paste, and then hit enter. And then it will give you your results. So now I'm just going to show you a couple of really quick examples that I found in filtering from 23andMe, MyHeritage, and Family Tree DNA. So to start out, I'm just going to show you how to get to this new tool. All you have to do is go to Tools. You don't have to be signed in. And go down and you'll see Individual Match Filter. And just click that and it'll open up and this is the page that you get. So it gives you the information up here at the top. Uh, you can learn more how to get the data, how to populate the form with sample data. You can also filter out xDNA segments. And right here is where you can control it. So you can go up or you can go down. So if you want to only filter for three or two, uh, one's pointless, but you can you can have a lot of control over this. The first website that we will take a look at is Family Tree DNA. So to start, we're going to actually just look at this edited page that I have for Family Tree DNA. And you're going to see how we have the shared centimorgans, the longest block. And so right now we're going to take a look at my cousin Jennifer. And we can see that she has a total of 332 shared centimorgans with me, with the longest block being 38. So what you want to do is you click this checkbox over here and it'll create this little box down here. And then you go up and you click on Chromosome Browser. And when you click on Chromosome Browser, it's going to take you to this page. And so on this page, it shows you the actual details of where you're matching on the chromosomes and you can look at all the little single ones. But you want to go into Detailed Segment Data. And this is where it shows you the size of every single segment of shared DNA. So you can see 1.23 centimorgans, 2.91, 6.69, 3.70, a lot that are under 7. So we're literally going to copy all of this. So we're going to copy. And then I'm going to go over to the DNA individual match filter and just paste it. Literally like that. We're not going to map. Uh, change any of this out just leave it as is if you want to also filter out the xDNA segments you can uh, that's really only helpful when you are looking specifically at the X chromosome for the most part but click filter and there we go so originally we had 332 total shared centimorgans and by filtering it down it's now down to 256 but to show you a really good example of how crazy some of these differences are on Family Tree DNA, we're going to look at another match. Here we have the details for my match for John Carter. And he is matching me at a total of 150 centimorgans, with the largest segment being 13. But when we take a look over at the shared segment data, 
we can see that it's a lot of real small segments. So we're just going to copy this like we did before. So I'm going to do control C. Then we're going to go back and just clear the form and that clears it. Then we're going to paste. We're going to filter and there we go. That 150 centimorgan match has now dropped down to 43 centimorgans. So this is really common on family tree DNA and I actually went through and did a bunch of them and I found a lot of matches that were like this where they were over 100 centimorgans, sometimes even over 150. And when you filter them only at seven centimorgans, it drops down to well below 40, sometimes even below 30. For my heritage, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to DNA and you're not going to go to DNA matches. You're actually going to go down to DNA tools. And from DNA tools, you're going to go and do the chromosome browser. Once the chromosome browser loads, this is what the page looks like. And you can go and you can select whichever person you want. And once you select them, they're going to come up here. So I have selected this person who is matching me at 138.6 centimorgans, which is about 2% across 15 segments, with the largest segment being 16.2. So from a Jewish endogamy standpoint, this would be a match that I'd be very wary of because they have such a small segment segment for the largest segment. So from here, what we would do is we would hit compare. And once you hit compare, that would bring us to this page where we can see the comparison between the two. So it's me against this person who we are going to keep unnamed and we're matching the 138.6. And just like the other chromosome browser, it shows you where you're matching, but you want to go to the bottom of the page. And when you scroll to the bottom, this is what it looks like. And you'll see the shared DNA segments info here. Now, when you're looking at your matches on my heritage, and you're looking at the match comparison page, when you look at the shared DNA segment info, it only allows you to download it. To be able to just copy and paste, which is the fastest and easiest way, you need to go to the chromosome browser. So from here, you just click that little down arrow, and when you do that, it's going to bring it up like this. So we're going to just enlarge that real quick. So it just gives you the information on your chromosomes and where you're matching. So I have already gone over and I copied it. And so we're just going to paste it in like usual, keeping it at seven centimorgans and filtering it. That brings it down to 106 centimorgans. So we're looking at a decent amount of change, not a whole lot, but definitely enough that it changes the perception of this match. So we're going from 138.6 down to 106. But from that Jewish endogamy standpoint, sometimes it's a little bit better to be more cautious and have a higher threshold. So I personally like to keep it at 10 when you're looking at Jewish endogamy. And the reason for this is because you really want to hone in on your significant matches. And significant matches being those matches where you have the best likelihood of finding a genealogical connection, either through what you already know or further research. So when we do a filter, that brings us down to 66 centimorgans. So even though this is one of my top 10 matches on my heritage in terms of total number of shared centimorgans, this would be a match that I would most likely skip over in terms of looking in depth and find another match that has more larger segments. The last one we're going to talk about is 23andMe. And here I have my sister's profile pulled up. And we're going to go over to family and friends and go down to DNA comparison. And when you click that, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And you're going to have all of your different matches. And when you select the match that you want, it's going to pop up over here to the left. What's really nice about 23andMe is you can search first or last name. So it makes it a little bit easier to find them. And then you just click compare. So when you hit compare, it's going to take you to this screen. And just like all the other chromosome browsers, you see where you're matching. But as you scroll down to the bottom, this is where you get your detailed information. So you can see there are a few or just one segment in here that's under the seven centimorgans. So just going to copy this. 
We're going to go back over to our individual match filter. Clear that. Paste. And I'm just going to bring this down to 7. So we're going to filter that, and that brings us to 106 centimorgans. So originally, we were looking at 112, and that brought us down to 106. So that tells us that this is a fairly strong match. And that's where we can go and take it up to 10 if we want and filter and there it's only 96 so it's still barely going down so we know that this mr is a significant match and this would be one that we would want to look further into thank you so much for checking out this quick genealogy tip if you enjoyed please be sure to give it a thumbs up you can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe it's completely free to do so and you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'll see you in my next video.